We're going to talk about cards, specifically commander cards first. I'm going to talk about each single commander card and we're going to go by order of the um, least ranking up the chain as they were high, more highly ranked or more historically important. Each commander in the game will, will be addressed and what the card uh, allows that commander to do. There's another video that talks about that. Basically, the cards mostly are played during the action phase. Uh, certainly, the commander cards are all played during the action phase. And that video talks about how to use the cards in general. You can play as many as you want. You can go there to, to get spe specific instructions on that. Here, we're just going to talk about how the commander cards work. You can use a commander card for just their value. So you forego anything that it says there and you use the card value, for example, a seven to conduct... Uh, pay for and conduct seven actions on the board. As a matter of fact, most commander cards are used that way at least half of the time because you might not have enough cards available for you to use and you know you have to use at least one for actions, land or naval. Any card in the game can be used for actions for their points, but specifically if you're going to use the commander card as a commander card, you can do one of the four. You can use the combat quality that the card gives you for that commander if he does have one sometimes they don't you can reinforce the commander with more units that are listed specifically specific types of units or you can add a reinforcement to an already an existing unit that the commander has reinforcements are just for regular units that's explained in the units video you can take the commander out of probation or you can promote him those are often not used the last two because that's uh, a rare case. So we'll talk about that first. Any uh, any commander card that you have can be used to promote that commander uh, without him having to fight uh, or win a battle. So for example, if you take El Campesino here, you use that card, you play it, and if El Campesino is on the board, you promote him. If he's not on the board and he's on the roster, it doesn't matter. You could still promote him there. So what you do is you simply take his commander chit, Right now he has one star and you flip it over and from now on he will have two stars and he can command units of two stars. If for example you had a Kipodianos card and you use that to promote, you play the card, you find him where he is on the roster or on the board and you simply promote him. Now he has three stars. So that's how you use commander cards for promotion. You can also use any commander card uh, to take commanders out of the probation box. The probation box is where uh, if they have lost a battle, as the rules explain, and you roll a four dice and they lands on one, they lost all the forces under them, uh, therefore you roll that dice and they put, they're put in the probation box. So they cannot command any forces until they're taken out of here. And they can only be taken out of here uh, by a card, sometimes by an event, but usually by playing the card. Sometimes you need to do that because, you know, Buruaga might not be of a lot of value, but later on, if you need him to command forces, especially later in the war, and you have a lot of armies uh, in the field or even militia, and you require uh, command, then uh, you're going to have to take him out of there. So if you, tap, if, you, if you have those commander cards, for example, you have Rikelmi and Vega, and they happen to be on probation, as you can see here, you play those cards, you can play one, you can play two, you can play as many cards as you want during a round, and you take them out of probation, and you reinstate them to the roster, or you could put them at any time. As the rules explain, you can put them straight onto a command, if their stars are low. So uh, a one-star commander can only command armies, units of one star there, or he can command three up to three militia this part explained you can use the commander card value just for their value for actions or you can use them to promote or to take the commander out of probation now we're going to talk about uh, you, the reinforcing we'll use the combat qualities later because those are also used with um, you know the, the the combat cards can be used for that so we're going to keep that at the end and it'll be a, a very quick summary Right now, we're talking about how to uh, reinforce the commander by receiving 
uh, one or all of the units listed on the card or to add a reinforcement to a regular unit that that officer already commands. Let's go through the Republicans first out of respect for the, after all, democratically elected Second Spanish Republic of 1931. Let's start with the Reds. So, José Riquelme, there's a little bit of history about him there. And this card allows you to, once again, take out of probation, promote, or to give him a single popular front militia. So if you're not using the numbers for actions, you play the card. Now notice Riquelme already has a command under him. But whether he is here or on the roster, you can just put him in the board, on the board, and deploy the units that the card allows you to, which is one of these, Popular Front Militia. So you need to put that close to the commander, either here or if he has room under him there. The important thing about deploying these units through commander cards is the militia are all in the, at the, on the board at the beginning of the game, but they're, eventually they're all killed off. They are replaced gradually by the larger armies, the professional armies, and so when they leave, they can't come back on the board at all because they're not put on the calendar. So the only way for a militia to uh, go back into the board is if you choose to play the commander card that has that uh, unit there, and then you deploy it. Next up, we have Itelvino Vega, another lesser known officer. And again, you can reinstate him or promote him or use his card to deploy a socialist militia. So he can be on the board or here, get the militia, the socialist militia, the PSUC. And that has that little symbol there of uh, Catalonia. So you have to put them around that area there. Of course, this is flexible. You can do whatever you want, but it's uh, to follow the historical principles. So put them in Barcelona with Vega on top. Juan Pedia, the usual thing. Plus, you can choose one of these. So you can have a CNT or a Pum militia. So choose to deploy him with either Pum or CNT. Of course, CNT is better because since Peria has an anarchist symbol there as well, that will give him an extra modifier point in battle. Next we have El Campesino. He can have one of the international brigades deployed. So you could certainly put them here where they belong, deploy them there with him. You can do that or you can use the speed combat quality, which means he attacks away, doesn't need an attack triangle, but that is uh, talked about in another video. So if you use the combat quality instead of the deployment or instead of the value or taking out of probation or promotion, the single thing you can do is mark him for his combat quality and then use them when that comes up. Cipriano Mera. This is an important commander. He also has the uh, speed quality that you can use. So you can use that if you want, put it on his command and, uh, and have him use that. Or if you don't want to use his quality, uh, you can choose any of these. Uh, armies to deploy him with. So basically you take uh, Mera and you can you can deploy the Catalonian Popular Army or the Army of Catalonia. These are uh, all armies of the East or the Aragon Army. Particularly these ones here are very valuable because these have a black triangle which means when they are destroyed they are taken out of the game completely. You cannot put them in the triangle. You cannot put them in the uh, calendar again. So the only way for them to go back into the game is if they are activated by um, Meta's card here. So any of those three can be deployed with him. Juan Modesto, you have him at an attack quality. So you can mark him and use his quality. If you prefer, you can also deploy him 
with any regular army plus the PSUC. Those are the two units that you can deploy all of them if you want. If you prefer, you can, instead of deploying these units, if you see he already has a command there and um, you want to reinforce that, the card says one reinforcement. So it's either one reinforcement or deploy those. So you can choose to, he's commanding the Army of the South right now, and you confirm that the Army has a place for two other layers. So you add that reinforcement to it. And now the CF of the Army is three and another three. So it's six. Again, take out of probation or promote or use the attack quality or deploy these two units or one of them uh, or reinforce one layer in an existing unit that he's already commanding. Enrique Lister, he's got two qualities that you can use. You can only use one or the other. He has an attack quality or a defense quality. And again, if you choose to use the commander, he doesn't have to be on the board. He might be here uh, or on the board. And if you want to use him, you just put, you don't require any prompts to do this. You just put him on a, a command there and you take this and you mark him for, um, for the quality, you know, whatever you use at the time, it could be attack or defense because he has both. You can also choose to deploy all of these, the PSUC or the Army of the Center. Let me point out that the reason to deploy units with a commander card is because uh, you've already deployed on your turn at the beginning during strategy, you deployed and now that it's combat time, there is no more time to deploy. You cannot deploy anything during combat unless it is prompted by the card. So it's a chance that wherever the Army of the Center finds itself, uh, you, you can deploy it. In this case, of course, it's got a green triangle, which means that any time that it is destroyed, taken out of the game, it is placed on the any turn uh, box instead. But otherwise, an army that is listed here, you go to the calendar and you, uh, and you deploy it from there. If you don't want to deploy these, you can use the reinforcement for something that he already has. So if he's already there, uh, you can choose to reinforce what he has with a layer, which means four is added to this four. Now this army has eight. One thing that I like to point out, if you have a choice to deploy an army or to reinforce an army, or, you know, if the commander, uh, particularly with the nationalists, but here, for example, communist commanders, try to uh, put him with not a regular army like that, well, a regular army, but if you can, uh, an army that is strongly infiltrated or reinforced with communists, so therefore they have that little star, because of course, if uh, that matches your commander, you're going to get a positive modifier in battle. Now we have Adolfo Prada. With Adolfo, he's got no combat qualities, but you can deploy all of the Basque militia. So a lot of times in the game, uh, the north is uh, about to fall. Uh, as it happened in the war, you know, in uh, 1937, and the Army of the North is pinned here uh, against, you know, the, its nationalist counterpart. So sometimes there's nothing else to put here. And it's difficult to send armies that way because they would have to pass through uh, nationalist territory and you can't do that. So if you land this card in this situation, it's very valuable because it means you can take these units that have perhaps already been destroyed or any of them that are destroyed and you can never use them again because they're militia uh, and they don't go on the calendar. So you can take them out of the box again and uh, redeploy them uh, with Prada in the Basque region there. So either San Sebastian or Bilbao. The only other choice you have with this card is if you don't want to deploy all of these, then you can reinforce... Uh, Prada's uh, any existing command that he has with one of these. Segismundo Casado. This was a very important historical figure. He attempted a coup later in the war. But anyway, he has a special quality, combat quality, that you can put on him, uh, which is experience. Or you can deploy any regular army with him or reinforce his command with uh, a reinforcement. 
Sebastian Posas, he wasn't uh, a particularly capable officer, but uh, he was high up in the ranks. So you can use the usual thing. You can promote him or take him out of probation. Uh, no special qualities, but you can deploy him with two of these. So you could put that in there. Vicente Rojo, very important operational genius in the Spanish Civil War. One of the few on the red side. He has an attack quality. You can put the flag next to his command and he's able to uh, activate the attack quality during combat. We explain that later. Um, you can deploy any regular army with him or reinforce uh, an army that he already has. Finally, for the Republicans, we have the commander of the center region, Jose Miaja. The card will allow you to use the defense quality or the logistics quality, one of those. So you can put that uh, on his command and use that. If not, you can deploy any regular army and a tank. So if Miaja didn't have a command right now at the moment, you could deploy uh, any army. It could be this one, could be uh, another one. Deploy that plus uh, a tank. But that can only be in the center region as it says here, which means it has to be within a 135 kilometer radius from Madrid. So anywhere within that area, as long as it's the red area, uh, you would deploy. If uh, he's already has uh, a command, you can do the reinforcement. So just reinforce what he already has there. So Miaja, deploy these, use one of the qualities or the reinforcement. Now for the nationalist commanders, we are going to start off with Eli Rolando de Tella. This gentleman doesn't give you a lot of choice, uh, the card. You can only either promote him, uh, take him off probation if he's there, or of course, again, use the card for its value instead of any commander uh, uh, function, or uh, deploy him with one of the Falange so you could just deploy Falange with him. Next we have Eduardo Sainz de Boruaga. Again, you could uh, promote him or take him out of probation or deploy two FETs with him. Deploy him with two of these, which is sometimes good because that's as powerful as an army, really. Buruaga has also a uh, uh, notoriety combat quality. So if you want, instead, you place the flag to use uh, the notoriety. Carlos Asensio, this is another Africanista. He has the mobility quality. And the only units that he can deploy is this one. So basically, the um, Moroccan Army Corps, Cuerpo Ejército Marroquí. This is the only one, so it's very rare. So basically, if this unit is on the calendar somewhere and it's not coming up anytime soon, you might want to deploy it early. That's what you would do here with Asensio. So either that or the mobile quality, whichever you want to use. Next, we have Rafael Garcia Valigno. He also has a mobile quality, which we will discuss later. And you can deploy him, if you wish, with another or the single uh, Requete unit. So you take, he already had one under him here, for example, but uh, you deploy another one under him there using the card. Antonio Castejon is another Africanista, and you can choose to deploy the Moroccan Corps once again with him, or you can use the speed quality. So either one or the other. Now we have Jose Enrique Varela. He has an attack quality that you can use, or you can deploy him with two Requete units, or put a reinforcement under any of the regular units he already commands. With all these cards, we remember that you can also promote the commander or take him out of probation. Now we have Luis Orgas, and he's pretty simple. No qualities or anything like that. He's uh, an important commander and an Africanista, but he, you can only put an extra Falange unit with him. So these cards are good, usually later in the war, um, for 
a time where there is not too many, uh, you know, a time where the nationalists wouldn't have too many um, militia units left. Most of them could be in the box here, killed off. So uh, you want to reinforce those. Most have been could have been killed off in the box here. So you want to uh, revitalize them, put them back into the game. And the only way you can do that after they're killed is with the, the card. We remember the game starts off with all the militia units in the game, but as they are destroyed, they are put into the uh, boxes there and then they cannot come back unless you have a card that goes with it. Next, we have Gonzalo Quepodellano. In his case, no qualities to speak of, no combat qualities, but you can deploy two Falange units. Deploy a reinforcement uh, if he is commanding already a regular army, which is the case here, for example. So you can put a reinforcement there. However, the condition in this particular case is that it has to deploy, be deployed in the south. And the game makes it very clear uh, what the region of the south is. Anywhere south of uh, Valencia, Madrid, Badajoz. So anywhere south of this line here is where you could reinforce Capo de Llano if that was the case. Next we have Fidel Davila, one of Franco's close friends. And he's also pretty full here. You can use the speed quality on him. You can deploy any regular army or reinforce an army that he is already commanding. Now we have Juan Yagüe, the Butcher of Badajoz. In his case, he's probably one of the highest quality cards. With Yagüe, you know you're in for a treat here because you could deploy him with either the uh, Army of Africa, which is the most powerful army in the game, or the Moroccan Army Corps. Or uh, if these are already taken and so forth and they're already in the game, again, it may be advantageous to just deploy him with uh, the Falange unit. So you have to choose one of these. Or should he be already in command of an army, uh, for example, in this case here, then you can reinforce that. So there you go. You could do that as well. On top of that, Yagwe has two extremely powerful qualities, the attack quality and uh, the notoriety quality. Either one of those can be used instead of the other options here. So you would mark it and use the qualities in combat. Now we have Emilio Mola, who has the combat quality of experience that you can use, or you can deploy him with uh, both of these, any regular army and a requete unit together, you can deploy that. Or instead of those options, just reinforce an existing command that he has of an army, uh, with a reinforcement layer, but this needs to be in the north. So all these commands uh, have to be over, have to be north of this line here, uh, and that's where you can reinforce him or reinforce him or deploy the, those armies mentioned. Last and not least, we have the Caudillo himself, Francisco Franco, and uh, in his case, uh, also a very full house. Now notice. He has the uh, logistics quality here, which we will address all these qualities on the uh, on the combat card. He has the only other qu the only quality that he has on his own. No other commander, uh, red or blue, in the game has a political quality. Very powerful. We'll explain that later. Uh, and you can deploy uh, all of these: a regular U army, air force, and tanks. Deploy all of them at any given time, or you can add a reinforcement to an army that he already has. Usually Franco is very well set up with, uh, with many layers uh, of commands, right? So he has here, but uh, as a matter of fact, if he commands, for example, the army of the center, uh, which is powerful, it has uh, the possibility of having four. So that's this piece plus three layers. So he only has two here. He could put another one there. Usually their battles around Madrid are very resource consuming. And uh, when this comes up, I usually use it to just reinforce what he already has. So that's it. Uh, all 24 commanders explained in great detail. 12 red, 12 blue. And you can watch the other videos about combat cards and then country cards.